Hey, I was just looking over a question from a guy named Gerald. Now, Gerald's question is titled, May I have breasts with my chicken breasts? It's probably pretty self-explanatory as to where I'm going to go from here, but let me break it down for you a little bit. Pretty much, Gerald loves food. Gerald loves having sex with his girlfriend. Look, I wouldn't. And what Gerald wants to do is something crazy. He wants to mix the two together in this casserole of love and food and erotica and everything in between. He wants to bring his two favorite things in the world a little bit closer together in the bedroom. Now, the big problem though is not that he wants to do this, but rather how he's going to tell his girlfriend about it and how he's going to convince her to do it too. This is probably a legitimate fear because a lot of women might hear that and think that you're a creepy fatso. And you don't want to come across as a creepy fatso. So what do you do? Well, you can actually point out some of the benefits of having food in the bedroom. For instance, you can use a whole can of whipped cream in the middle of sex and it could take your entire night to a whole new level. You can squirt it on each other, lick it off each other, and if it happens to get on certain parts of the body, so be it. You can turn sex into a whole different event if you just incorporate a little bit of food. Now, not all food is going to work. You certainly don't want to have sex in the middle of a big old meatloaf or a bowl of spaghetti. But if you've got something that's a little bit sweet, a little bit sultry, then you're probably good to go. Start by incorporating stuff like syrup, whipped cream like I mentioned before, melted chocolate, anything that's kind of slippery is almost a lubricant of sorts so that way you guys can slide around and lick each other and enjoy everything about the moment. If you want to go beyond that, you can start looking into erotic foods like chocolate, like bananas, stuff that are, is going to increase both her libido and yours so that way you want to have sex more and then you're going to want to eat more and the whole situation is just going to improve. So really, wanting to incorporate food into sex isn't that big of a deal because it's pretty common and if it's not common then it needs to be because it's a lot of fun. All you got to do is approach it in the right way and make sure that you don't come across as someone who just wants to eat on top of your girlfriend. Rather, you want to eat out your girlfriend and happen to have a little bit of food along the way. You can do it, dude. I wish you the best of luck.